welcome to Cheating on Art. I'm your host Cassandra and I'm going to give you a trick on how to get that perfect drawing. For this segment, what you will need is a picture of your choice printed off the internet. Here we have Grandmaster Takamatsu Sensei. You're going to need another piece of drawing paper some number two pencils, an eraser, a pencil sharpener, and some tape. What we're going to do is you're going to take the picture that you um, chose and print it off on whatever kind of printer paper you want um, and off of whatever printer you want. Then what you're going to do is you're either going to buy yourself some transfer paper or if you don't have transfer paper, a great trick is to take a pencil, just a regular number two pencil, and you are going, number two pencil, or um, what I also find works really well is charcoal, uh, special, especially the willow charcoal, and you're just going to on the back of where your drawing is, so this is where my drawing is, you're just going to go across your paper like this. So, there you go. Again, you can buy transfer paper, but if you don't have transfer paper, that is a great trick. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your drawing paper. This is um, a half sheet of drawing paper, since my picture is so small. You're going to send her this as best as possible on your drawing paper. And then you're going to secure it with some tape. I find um, painter's tape works um, the best because it doesn't really leave um, residue a lot and it's easier to peel off. Now from here what you're going to do is you're going to take a sharpened sharpen pencil and from here you're going to just trace over top all the lines of your figure. So once you um, are done with that and done tracing everything, it's a little light, I know, let me bring it closer, you should have something that looks like this. You're going to use your paper to as a example or inspiration of how to color in the shading. I like to go dark to light. So we're going to start in the darkest areas and work our way light. And you're just going to
I would probably spend a little bit more time trying to get the shading uh, correctly, but you can see the results. And this is a really good trick for those who are really bad at freehanding or just learning. Um, it'll help with um, getting the right shapes and getting the right shadings. So hopefully this was able to teach you something. All right, until next time.